Hi, uh, my name's Tom Briggs. I'm running to be your Vice President for Academic Affairs. I'm running under the uh, mantra, what's the Brig deal? Uh, the idea really is, is to find out what you want and to make that part of the deal that you do for, for voting for me. Um, so, yeah, that's my introduction. Um, I first of all would like to really thank Brian for the idea of doing a vlog. I think it's brilliant, a really nice way to uh, to get back to people who are actually voting and uh, to see the words coming from my own mouth. So, yes, um, that's why I'm doing this. And I'd like to really just talk about my manifesto, which is available online, but not a lot of people access that generally. If you have, great. If you want to, great. It's on the Lincoln Candidates page. Um, so really, there's there's three key threads to my manifesto. The first is representation. Now, I've been a student rep for all three years of my course. I was a course rep uh, for my first year, and the last two years I've been a school rep, which is uh, the longest service of, of anyone running, I think. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty well equipped to talk about the representation system and the way that it's improved massively under Ian and Kirsty's help, and the long way that it still has to go, so that we, we have a representation system that's, that's really fit for everything we need it to be. So the first thing I want to say is that I'd like to train your school reps much better so that when they sit on a committee they know what they're talking about, they have all the equipment they need so they're talking to lecturers as equals and not as people who have just been invited to kind of nod through the student issues because we do have things that come back and say well why did you approve that? Well unfortunately you know we didn't really know what we were doing because we weren't trained and that's not Ian's fault, it's the first time that people have been sitting on these committees but we need to keep improving that so that's number one um, number two is representation for everyone and equal representation as well so if you are a postgraduate or an international student or a home student then we need to be talking about you and seeing how your educational experience differs how can we address that, how can we make yours as good as everyone else's or in cases where yours is better how can we make everyone else's as good as yours um, so yes, that's point one. The second point is collaboration. Now I'm from the School of Forming Arts and this is a massive thing for us because obviously we're all quite arty people. Um, interestingly, no one from the School of Arts has, has actually ever got uh, I've got this position in the last four years. And so yes, that would be a wonderful thing to happen if you so choose. Um, but we're talking about things like being able to find a graphic designer when your marketing material isn't quite up to the professional standard that you'd like it to be. Being able to find actors for your films or in other departments as well. Being able to find the research that you want. So you might be doing biomedical science and you want to communicate with people who are doing straight biology and kind of lend on their expertise. And we need to create systems where that's possible so that everyone all the time is collaborating to make the best work they can. And finally, it's about inspirational teaching. And there's three ways that we're going to get the teaching to a consistently high standard. The first of all is peer review. So every lecturer is peer reviewed by another lecturer in their school and another one from a different school. And that way, if that lecturer is being peer reviewed, it's fantastic, then those lecturers will take that best practice back. They'll compliment it, they'll say, that really worked. And if it's not, they'll say, why don't you try this? They've got nothing to lose. Only we can benefit if the teaching gets better and better and the playing field is levelled consistently high. The other thing is I'd like to introduce a system whereby if you're interested as a third year student you can volunteer to teach additional sessions for a chosen module. So if you have an expertise from your dissertation then you can go to a lower year module and kind of work through that because teaching not only helps your knowledge but it also gives you a great thing for your CV and it will help all those people that are learning as well. The third thing is student reviewed lectures. So what this is is you go into another lecture from a related but not the same school and you, you talk about uh, the lecture with that lecturer afterward and say you know this really really worked and you might take some back some stuff back to your school and say why aren't we doing this you know this is great or you might say we do this in our school so really it's about getting the best practice out there so that's my manifesto um, and there's lots lots more that I think I mean it's had a lot of experience certainly we can talk about employability all day and uh, getting things on your CV um, but I'd really just like to talk about this kind of initiative. So I've been taking that board round all day and yesterday as well and just talking to people about what issues are on their course. If you'd like to get in touch um, and tell me what's going on in your course, what your brig deal is, if you like, um, then tweet me at hashtag brig deal. 
and I'll get back to you really quickly. Or you can go on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash brig deal. Simple brig deal being spelt B R I G D E A L. Okay, well, thanks very much. I'm probably going to do another vlog in a day or two and talk about the kind of things I've been doing, but I don't want to go to six minutes. I think that might be a little bit excessive for today. Uh, voting starts Monday, 9 o'clock. Tom Briggs, Academic Affairs for your number one choice. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you soon.